Hi, my name is April Andres. I'm 31 years old. Um, the, I grew up in foster care pretty much all my life. Uh, I have three other siblings um, and we were separated uh, when I was seven. The two oldest and the two youngest got to stick together so um, we didn't really get to grow up with each other. By the time I was 10, uh, we were then uh, transferred to another foster home. Uh, we didn't know much about it. We were just told it was just on a farm. And it was interesting because I was nervous and anxious, didn't know what to expect. And they were very happy to see us. And they told us that they were praying to have two girls to come live in their home so they can foster them. And they didn't know which two girls. So that blew my mind out of the water. I'm like, what? You know, I didn't, under I didn't know that God existed in that way. Um, and it made me think at 10 years old, if he can answer prayers, then who is he? And that's when everything started to begin from there. We attended church there every Sunday. So when I was 16 years old, I was struggling with a lot of anger. Uh, the, there was a lot of um, feeling of betrayal, um, just a lot of negative feelings that grew inside me. Um, so then I ended up turning my back away from God for the longest time. And it wasn't until February of this year that I was watching a YouTube video and God is very amazing and he works in interesting ways and he knew how to grab my attention and he grabbed my attention through a YouTube video um, and it was about a woman uh, who was also very lost and confused like I am and it was it, it was something I needed to hear I realized then that I needed him and I repented and I remember calling my foster family up. I let them know that I repented, I came back, and I'm all for him. I'm all for following him and doing what he wants me to do. And I wanna thank my, my family, my foster family, and everyone that God had brought in my life. And he is still working on me, and uh, he has been really working with my patience. I've learned a lot of patience. My anger, I don't have that now. It's, it's pretty much gone. I'm more patient. I'm much more calmer than I ever used to be. And I don't experience anxiety like I used to. I have a verse here from the Bible that when I was starting my studying, uh, it's Hebrews 6, 1 to 3. It says, let us stop going over the same old ground again and again always teaching those first lessons about Christ. Let us go on instead to other things and become mature in our understanding, as strong Christians ought to be. Surely we don't need to speak further about the foolishness of trying to be saved by being good, or about the necessity of faith in God. You don't need further instruction about baptism and spiritual gifts and the resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment. And um, this is, that really, touched me and I knew that I needed to follow through with being baptized as well as uh, believing and trusting him.